You're watching HKM Television. Hey, Terry, how we doing? We're great. How are you? Doing great. Looking very red, white, and blue over there. Very patriotic because what's coming up? Fourth of July. So tonight's dinner is a patriotic dinner. And um, just a little less my eye. If you go back to the playlist on hcam.tv, you will come across a TV show, free for pontoon party at the lake, where we did a gathering and I did appetizers to bring on the boat and then we went around and tooled on the lake, which was a lot of fun. And that was with Chelsea and Ben and Patty and Steve and Bindi and Jared. And we had a really, really good time, and Scott, because it's always Scott's birthday on uh, July 4th. So shout out to the Bryants and Scott's birthday because this year we're all in quarantine and um, yeah, not so sure we're gonna get to celebrate at this time, but love you guys. And what's on tonight's menu, you might ask? We have a patriotic dinner. We have a red, white, and blue salad, patriotic pork, roasted patriotic potatoes, and then we're going to end it with an independence ambrosia. So we're going to start with the patriotic potatoes because they have to roast in the oven. And what I have before me are some red potatoes some white potatoes, and some blue potatoes. Now, isn't that just a beautiful mixture? That's great. Blue potatoes? Tell me about those. Blue potatoes. They're blue potatoes. <laughs> and usually, they're called little fingerling potatoes. Okay. And they're very little, and you can buy them actually as a mixture all together. Yeah. But these did come separate. So what we want to do is put them all in a bowl. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about three tablespoons of olive oil in the bowl. And then some garlic powder. Now this gives it a nice taste. And you want to give it a good shake. And then, whoops. <laughs> and then you want to mix everything up in the bowl. Make sure everything gets coated with the olive oil and the garlic powder and it smells really good. Okay, so that's good. So then I'm going to grab my pan, which I have sprayed with cooking release spray. And I'm going to put these <laughs> on the pan. Get rid of this. And then we're just going to put them in a single layer, spread them out. Now I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees, and these are going to go in for 30, 35 minutes. Now I know we like our roasted potatoes crispy, so it might be on the longer side, but I'm going to throw these in there and start the timer. There you go. Bring the timer. I'm going to go 35 minutes. 
get x. So then, because I'm going to need my pot holders, I'm going to grab those, get those out. So that's beautiful. Two minutes, right? Yep. In the oven. So the next item we have is the independence ambrosia. Now, normally I try to keep things healthy, sweet, but sometimes you need a little, or in this case, a lot of sugar, right? And what we have here, we have frozen whipped cream thawed, we have marshmallow fluff, and who doesn't like that, right? Oh, you're in, you're in, you're in Massachusetts. You have to have fluff. That's right. <laughs> Peanut butter and fluff, jelly and fluff, any kind of fluff. And then we have raspberry pie filling. We have a cup of blueberries and some mini marshmallows. So we're going to. Put the whipped cream in my mixing bowl. Okay. This is full. And then we're going to take the fluff. And I'm going to add the fluff. And you have to be careful, especially if you're working with glass containers like I am yeah. because you don't want to drop them and have the glass break. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to, because the fluff can be, you know, thick, creamy, and we'll put that over there. Put it over here. Then I'm going to take an electric mixer and mix this together. And again, you know, baking and desserts, not my forte, so you have to bear with me. But this is blending quite nicely. Trying to get the excess off. Woo. <laughs> and I think when it starts going all over the place, that's when I, uh, I kind of want to call it quits. Uh, see, that brings me back to being a kid where mom would always let me lick the beaters afterwards. Absolutely. And sometimes she'd even shut off the machine. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm going to set that aside. And <laughs> there is the whipped cream with the fluff. Yep. Now what I'm going to do is fold in the raspberries and the blueberries. And again, tonight's theme is pretty much red, white, and blue. So you're going to gently fold that in. And again, very sweet, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's coming out quite nicely. And this will be a nice dessert for the kids and the older folks and certainly the parents. Then you want to take your marshmallows and gently fold those in. And that's where the ambrosia comes from. The marshmallows. <laughs> so this is a really sweet dessert. And hey, it's Independence Day, right? That's right. Why not? Why not? Land of the free, home of the brave. Is that how the saying goes? Exactly like that. Exactly.
exactly like that. So why not treat yourself to something that will be really sweet? And there you have it. <laughs> Independence Ambrosia. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Yep. And let this continue to chill. Yep. color just looks great. Isn't it? It's really beautiful. So this is the berry part of the salsa. And I say that because when we cook the pork, we're going to take a cup of this. And after the pork cooks, we're going to remove pork from the pan. We're going to add some wine, shallots, and chicken stock, and, um, and with this berry mixture. And then we'll put the pork back in the pan. And then when we go to plate it, you're going to plate the pork with the rest of the salsa over the pork. So here is a cup of the berry mixture that we're going to reserve right by the oil here. Now, because I reserved that berry mixture, mm -hmm. now I am going to add to the salsa um, half medium red onion, chopped, cilantro, and lime juice. Gotta have the lime juice all the time. Gotta have the lime juice. And what? The cilantro. Oh, of course, cilantro. We all know how I love the cilantro, right? Yep. I know, and oh, this is smelling really, really good. I have to say, and again, like you said, colorful, beautiful, fresh, crisp, Right? So that 
it's just going to sit aside. And and that just can. stays room temperature? You don't have to chill it? You can chill it. It can stay room temperature. Uh -huh. Okay. Absolutely. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I've got the oil heating in the pan, so I'm going to take my, here I have the pork. I have a quarter cup of wine, quarter cup of chicken stock, and two shallots chopped. So I'm going to add the pork to the pan. And I'll saute the pork. And once the pork is cooked, like I said, I'm going to Remove it and I'm going to remove it and then get the sauce going. Excellent. Yeah, so so the fourth of July coming up, right? Yeah, a lot of uh a lot of disappointment, you know, all the parades are canceled, you know, the Max Mack Boat Parade, the Hopkins and Harbles Parade. Uh, right. uh, the the pops on the fourth on the Esplanade, although they're going to do a virtual show, I believe. They are, they yeah. are. And although I used to go when I was younger, I know um, Chelsea and I would stay up and and watch it. And oh yeah. Stuff. I've uh, it's 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 an amazing time. It's it's a great time, and I love how they turned it into an all day family event. Um, instead of just a big drink fest for people, they really stepped up and made it inclusive for everybody. Um, and, you know, of course, all the local fireworks. I mean, the towns, Grant, the towns will be saving a lot of money this year, but uh, people still like to go out and celebrate their independence. And, and uh, what better way to do it than a, a professional fireworks show? They do, and I have to say, here on the lake, we get the fireworks going on both sides. So it's kind of like they're competing, right? You have some go off over here, and then you have some going off across. Off the, the island, way. yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. And uh, and you don't have to go too far, right. you know, to. Uh, it, and you know how much I love the lake and all the residents up there you know all your neighbors i you know i know everyone and it's, i know and they are just such wonderful wonderful entertaining individuals they they uh host they some are. fantastic parties like yourself and and a bunch of others and it's it's always a good time and I, it is it is and they're always there you know to help if you need me yeah yeah right it, there. It, it's great when, when i go there and of course just being a guest, I show up and it's just like all the neighbors that are there as guests do just as much work as the host. <laughs> they, they really, it's, it's a, I mean, it, it seems like you just take it turns at different venues, but it's the same community doing all the work. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's good. Coming right along. Excellent. Yeah, so unfortunately, I'll be working this weekend at the fire station, so there's not going to be any uh, any kind of fun being had, which there isn't anyways. So uh, well, I have to say, might, as well, might as well work. Absolutely. And um, thank you for your service, Mike. Thank you. Totally appreciated. We got to do it. So uh, what's... Instead of uh, using the Cool Whip, which is really nice to have, did you ever make your own whipped cream? Well, we did it a couple of shows ago, if you recall. Uh, not sure if you were on that show or Jim was, because I want to say this is the ninth show, and isn't that crazy? Wow, yeah. I know, I know. Well, you know, um, they, they all run together sometimes, just like the days. Like We, we do the... Um, the uh, Hopkins hangout hour every day, 
And, you know, it's like, hey, welcome to the Wednesday edition. Of Hunk and they're like, it is Wednesday, right? Because you just. <laughs> it is. In fact, um, I was just hearing someone say they they were thanking me for the reminder for the show because they forgot what day it was. Yeah. When our members retire at work, we get them a day clock. And a day clock is just like a regular clock, but shows the days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> and it goes and it marks 12, the 12 hours there you go. of the day, right? Yeah. And um, comes in handy. Oh yeah, that be, that, that's a great idea because you know it's, when you're retired, you don't have to be anywhere at any time special. That's the day, right. the day's different. <laughs> that's right. That's right. They do come in handy. So these, I'm going to turn them. They're cooking up rather quickly. Yeah. And again, you know, another quick dinner for the most part. And because, you know, if you're home with the family and it's a long weekend, because I know because it's, it's uh, falling on a Saturday, people have Friday off. Yes. Um, you're looking for different meals to fill the weekend. And, uh, and this is another one of those meals. Yep. That, uh, that fits the bill. Right, right. And, you know, everyone thinks Patriarch Dinner and Fourth of July, well, around the Fourth of July uh, weekend, everyone's going to think barbecue. It's not necessarily all barbecue. That's and right. A lot of this here, you can cook outside. That's right. You're not necessarily stuck indoors. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, the, I mean, just the ambrosia alone, I mean, nothing says, this is a barbecue, like having a big bowl of that, <laughs> nice and handy at the uh, end of the at the end of the barbecue. Yep. It is so the best treat in the world. It's it's so bad too. <laughs> you you know you can't be uh, counting calories when it's uh, when it's this no. season. You can't do no. it. No, you can't. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, that pre pontoon party. Yep. That we had, I had, I had the same outfit on, and I have to say, I can still fit in it. That's so a bonus. That's, that's going to be some kind of good news, right? That's great news. <laughs> I know. That was a while ago. Yeah. And these are coming along quite nicely. Yep. You want to make sure you cook your pork all the way through. Yeah. And again, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, set up really nice, yes. Yeah. A little bit longer, I think. And then I will um, peek in at the potatoes. Oh, they're sizzling. And they smell great. Oh, I bet. Now, you always, like you said, you like yours crispy. Some don't. So do you recommend always setting your timer for a few minutes less so, you you know, you don't overdo it because it's like, oh, boy, now they're crispy and I didn't want them that way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you always check. You can check with a fork or a knife. Right. And you want to make sure that they're done in the middle. Um, and if you like them crispy, and you'll be able to feel it when they're done, you let them go longer. Sure, sure. So you get that. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really down to see the blue potatoes. So I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I've seen blue potato chips. <laughs> that's. Oh yeah. That's about. I didn't know if they're. I just. I just thought that was something different. Yeah, they're called fingerling potatoes. They're small. Yep. Compared to the others. And the different colors. They're a nice variety. I think I'm going to let those go a little longer. Just to be on the safe side. They look really nice. 
mixture to go in them. We've got our salsa mixture. And this is going to be really nice too with the jalapenos. Yep. And the cilantro. Yep. And the red onion. You know I love the red onion. Red onion's your favorite. I know, truly. Okay, so I think I'm going to take these out because these go back in. Yes. I'm just going to remove these while I get the sauce going. Okay. And then I'm going to add chicken stock, the wine, shallots, and the berries. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up just a bit. Okay. And we have enough liquid in the pan. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to move my ingredients over to the Nice and warm. Okay. And so what do you have left for ingredients that go with there? Yeah, so we have a quarter cup of wine, quarter cup of chicken stock, two shallots chopped, yep. and a cup of the berry mixture that came before the salsa. Excellent. So I'm going to add chicken stock. So you can just imagine what these flavors are going to taste like, right? We'll let that get going. And then we'll cook this for a little bit. And it's really, it's really beautiful if you can see this. I'm going to bring this over. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. It's kind of hard. It smells delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put that, get that <coughs> liquid starts to reduce. Flavor from the wine and the chicken stock, the shallots, and the berries. So you've got the different flavors going together with the pork. Yeah, I'm very intrigued by the berry flavor. Uh huh. Definitely. Yeah, which is very sweet. So, how quick was this? I mean, this is this is moving right along. Here we are. We're halfway through the show right now. We have another, what, 15 minutes left on the potatoes? Yep. Yeah, yep. We're, we're cruising right along. We are, absolutely. And uh, oh, excuse me. we have the salad left to go. Yeah, yeah, the salad's going to be cool. Yeah. Red, white, and blue salad. Can you guess what's in that? <laughs> Gee, I can only imagine. <laughs> I know, truly. Okay, so you want to stir this, make sure this is rendering down, which is good. Beautiful, it's really beautiful. Okay, let that go. And I guess I can bring out the salad ingredients. Sure. You'd like to see. Yeah, I'll share okay. the uh, I'll share the ingredients with everybody. Yep, we have spinach, we have pears, strawberries, blueberries, 
walnuts. We have blue cheese for topping. And then for the dressing, we have olive oil, we have honey, tarragon, and apple cider vinegar. So these pears, I got red pears yeah. and uh, peeled them and of course uh, put a little lemon on them so that they don't turn. Sure. Now, are those a, are those a crispy uh, pear? They, they are. They are. And I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm. Really good. And again, this is just very simple. You're going to take your pears and your blueberries and your strawberries and your walnuts. Now, how pretty is this? That is cool. Is that beautiful? And again, you know, the colors, right? Colors are beautiful, nice and sweet. I do like tarragon. I do. Okay. Have you ever tried it? Put it in your chowder? No, I never tried it in chowder. <laughs> Try it in your chowder. You're not going to believe it. Okay. It is so good. Nice little tidbit. Okay. You're going to put that all together. And then again, <laughs> hop on. I'm going to make sure it's really on there so you're not making a mess. Yep. And there, there you go. Right? See, now you usually dress the salad just before you eat it, right? You don't let it sit too long. Right. See, that's, that's my way. <laughs> of course, being brought up the same as you, uh, Italian from the North Shore, we are used to having the big salad bowl. And just as they put it on the table, here comes the, the oil, the vinegar, the salt and pepper, <laughs> you know, and they mix it up and they say, okay, now you can eat it. You yeah. know, they, I never seen it before. And we never had bottled. The only time we had bottled is if we bought the, uh, the old McCormick seasonings uh, yep. salad dressing. The that was good the closest seasons. thing. To, good seasons, that's it. Yeah. That was the closest thing to bottled dressing that we had. The little carafe. <coughs> yeah, it came with the carafe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put the oil in, the vinegar, and then the packet of the spices. That's it. <laughs> that's and that's, that, that was the that was all we had for dressing. Other than that, it was just oil, vinegar, and seasoning. I'm gonna put the pork back in. Okay, and I'm going to just now that sauce rendered down. Yep. Nicely. So I'm going to make sure the pork is all coated now. And I'm going to 
and we'll turn down the heat. Now this is going to be a nice, sweet dish. Although the whole meal is kind of sweet. Sure. So, and that's okay because every once in a while, right? Every once in a while, it's a good thing to have sweetness. <laughs> Oh yeah, it doesn't all have to be, you know, bursting explosions of flavor. I mean, sweetness is nice to have for a meal. Uh, it's not just for dessert anymore. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Yep. But no, I like how the way you add your little the, the spice to the to the sweet and the sweet to the main course kind of thing. It's the the nice little additions and and uh, and I I think. You know, of course, not being able to be there to taste this, which drives me nuts. Um, it, you know, it's, I, I just love the sound of everything, and I just can't wait to stop filming at your house again where I can't taste it. I know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know. I know. I'm going to uh, chop, chop these Again, we all know how much I love my blue cheese. Yeah. To be honest, I've never been a fan of blue cheese until I started eating buffalo wings. That's about it. <laughs> uh-huh. Gorgonzola. Yeah, it was always on the table. Yeah. Always on the table. This is good. And now that mixer there used to have, the, you still have the uh, the piece that goes on the top that helps whip it all up. Uh, it was like a like a little cross piece. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you used to be on those. That's helped turn it that's and right. so forth. Yeah, I remember that's those. That's right. God knows where that is. Oh. I'm amazed I still have this. <laughs> that, I mean, you know, that's got to be going on at least 30 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 80. <laughs> The 80s. Oh, the 80s, yeah. Wow. Well, it's amazing. I was just, I was just watching the old movie Airplane, and there was a scene where they're they're doing missionary uh, missionary work, and she's with the uh, with the people doing a Tupperware party, and it was the 70s style. Remember the orange and the olive green, with the rib tops and everything. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Shirley, you can have that. Don't call me Shirley. Uh, yeah. Boy, those were the days, huh? I know. And now, I mean, I think, is Tupperware still in existence today? You know, um, that's a good question. That is a really good question. Can because you Google they, it right now? I'll Google that right now. Because yeah. I, I know a lot of people like myself instantly – will go to the grocery store or big lots or whatever and just buy the disposable because, you know, it was like, oh, make sure I get my Tupperware back. And now it's like, hey, I brought something and you put it in this because you don't care if you ever see it again. Right. I'm going to uh, take a knife. Oh, these potatoes are beautiful. They're done, but I'm going to tell you what, I like them crispy. Yep. I'm going to give them another 10 minutes, and that'll be good. Now, the pork is just beautiful. That's really coming along. So that's good. Show it to you. Can you see this? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Smells great. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, not only does Tupperware still exist, which has a really nice website and a nice, uh, a nice uh, uh, selection. I mean, the, you see the products have changed a lot. and uh, But they still have... <laughs> Uh, Tupperware salespeople. I love it. And we got one raided Holliston, it looks like. Hey, three miles hey. away. My old hometown. Yeah, Holliston and Milford and Yeah, 
That is incredible. Wow. Awesome. There are still people around doing it. Milford, South Bro. Yep, yep. Holliston, warm to my heart. I yep, graduated absolutely. high school from Holliston. We moved from the city. We moved from Chelsea to Holliston. And no, that's not why I named Chelsea Chelsea. No, of course not, because if that was the case, she'd probably never talk to you again. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, my parents almost disowned me. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, Bob. Oh. Bob Hamilton, who, Bob Hamilton, who's in the background, he says, yes, he's got the Tupperware catalog 2020 at home. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good for you, Bob. <laughs> Love it. I mean, it's quality stuff. It's the best around. Oh, absolutely. But, absolutely. But like me, it's like, you know, I'll, I'll do all my prep meals and, you know, I leave, sometimes I leave half my Tupperware or my containers at the fire station. <laughs> And it's uh, sometimes never seen again. I am not surprised. I am not surprised that Tupperware is still around. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's amazing. What, what was there? Oh, Mary Kay. You know what I, I haven't seen forever is a pink Cadillac. Yep. yep. I remember those ladies were, were around all the time. They used to actually meet, and I'm going way back. Yep. At the dynasty, they used to have luncheons there. And now there's, I mean, because all the Cadillacs were parked out back where now the pediatrician's office is now. Yep. So, yep. yeah, it's incredible. Incredible. What a, what a concept. Yeah. Yeah. What a country, right? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Somebody's doing something right. You know, absolutely. Someone's always thinking. I was always thinking, well, here's some nice red so, wine. So what kind of wine is that tonight? This is a, again, a Toscano wine. Um, and I'm not an aficionado, so you have to um, bear with me, but it is 80% Sang Sang Beast <laughs> yeah. and 20% Sierra, whatever that is. But you've got me, all I know it's red. It smells really good. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking it's dry. I'm thinking it's a dry wine, which we know. Right up I your know alley. Great. That's what you like. That's what I like. Yeah, so. Um, is looking like it's just about there. So I am going to wait this for. And then once I get it over there, I'm going to top it with the salsa. Take a look at that stuff. Wow. That That's looks really beautiful. good. Yeah. Beautiful. And what we'll do is we're going to take some salsa and put it right over. So now you get the flavored pork with the wine and the shallots. Yep. And the sweetness and the spiciness of this salsa. And then you can use this for whatever. Right. Right? Salsa, salsa. Salsa is salsa. And this is a sweet salsa. Yep. So you can get some nice, um, you know, sweet chips, you know, make your own. Yes. Uh, you know, those uh, those cone chips. Oh, excuse me. 
that uh, the people like to dip with. So that's that. I'm going to check on the potatoes. Okay, that's coming right along. Nice. They're done. I'm going to give them maybe four or five more minutes, maybe seven. You got the time. So that's good. Crispy. Right. And um, so, so now this salad, I mean, this this meal here, we call it the patriotic. It's not your it's you know, that's the theme of today. But this seems like this is mostly late spring and summer kind of meal because of the freshness of the ingredients. Oh, exactly. And you the berries, right? Right. I mean, I you can take. You can take a chance of doing this in January, but you know, you're getting the, the ingredients from somewhere else. Cause you know, I, I go there and I see watermelons in February at I know. Oh, it's I like, know. All right, where are these coming from? Right, exactly. Or you could do the frozen variety, yep. right? Sure. Because they're always around, but nothing screams summer like fresh berries. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, a matter of fact, I can't wait to get the word, go to my friend Ashley's house and start picking those blueberries off her bushes in the back. Absolutely. I had a friend up in New Hampshire who had a blueberry farm and we would go up there and help him pick the blueberries and he made blueberry wine. Wow. Yeah. And he would bottle it. And every summer he would drop off four or five bottles by your front door if you weren't home, That's you know, right. but uh, a lot of hard work with the blueberry rakes and yeah. you pull up the, the pails. Yeah, it's not easy picking. I went picking there and, uh, you know, they get, they get little tools for it. They're good. I mean, it's nothing's perfect. But um, I, I actually enjoy just, you know, going after the one or two. And, of course, my favorite thing to do, too, is to freeze them and yeah. eat them out of the freezer on a nice hot day, have a nice, cold, crunchy snack. That's right. And they're, they're wonderful. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely. Good old blueberries. So I'm going to just drizzle this on the yeah. top. Okay. The tarragon is um it's it has a slight licorice flavor right yeah but just wonderful wonderful okay and then we just want to you know just a little a little mixture there Things crispy. I know. Turn up the heat to 500. Nice little crunch. So we have about 10 minutes left. Yeah. Um, what do we got? What do we got coming up for future shows? You, what, what kind of things you're thinking? Well, Without giving too much away. Let's let's tease this really nice. Okay, not giving too much away. Um, one of these dinners will be something that you can prepare to take outside. So that's a thought. You mean like a, do I get to use the P word? Uh, like, a, like take it on a picnic? You could use the <laughs> P word. Nice. Yes, that's a nice P word. So yes, <laughs> you can use that picnic word. Um, I have planned a dinner that um, highlights the vineyard, Martha's Vineyard. Uh, we do have another show on the gathering, you know, um, 
cocktails at sunset on the yep. lagoon that was yes. on the vineyard again with Patty and Chelsea. Patty and Chelsea Chelsea were there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. And um, and then let's see what else. What else? You know, um, my cookbooks inspire me, and right. my travels inspire me. So I definitely want to have a regular show about French cooking, but I could do one in quarantine, a simple one, where, you know, the, the, the usual gathering shows, there are dinner parties, so they're, they're always special, they're, they're entertaining because people are coming to join you for dinner. So you've got the appetizers, you've got the sit down salad, you've right. got your meal and you've got your dessert. So there are a lot of components to the regular show, whereas the gathering of quarantine is just dinner. Just and us, yeah, little simple dinners. Yeah. Little simple dinners. And I don't want to make this slight because they've all been special in yeah. my book. Oh, sure. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, so the French, I'll have a regular gathering show on that, plus one in quarantine. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, um, an all-American dinner, a Southern dinner, New Orleans dinner, um, Alaskan dinner. Oh, there you go. Been to Alaska. Got to highlight that, right? Um, yeah, just just uh, so just to give you an idea of what is coming up. Now, I did mention uh, the vineyard, but that is even a couple of dinners because one of my favorite restaurants on the vineyard was the oyster bar yes and of course. they have of course you know i've got their cookbook right yeah. so we're going to do an oyster bar dinner and uh you know went to bc nights for a while and i've got a bc cookbook so there you go we're gonna do a bc dinner yep yeah i'd love to I love to see you do a uh, like a a uh, college dorm room dinner. You oh, know, let's see, ra like ramen, it. ramen noodles, spaghettios. Let's see what you can do with mac and cheese. And <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, I did. I did buy uh, a couple cookbooks on cooking with ramen, so it's just to just to break things up. So yeah, it's those college kids get pretty uh, fancy and creative. When they got no money and all they got is Robin and Easy Mac. <laughs> Sounds good. So I just took the potatoes out and they are totally done. Sizzling. Beautiful. The garlic powder is a nice touch. And then, you know, you can, of course, Put salt and pepper on them if you like, but uh, you really don't need it. Right. Okay, almost done here. Perfect. Right. And again, you know, you don't really need a vegetable with this because you've got all that going on. Yeah, plenty. Look at those colors. Wow. <laughs> all right. Isn't that beautiful? That is great. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is this is good. This is the path that I've got to see is how you're gonna I, I wanna see you plate those. <laughs> How would you? How would you? How would you plate that right now? Would you? How would I plate this? Yeah. Well, let me ask you this question. Would you do? Now, me, I've always been a salad on the side kind of person. Same but here. I know plenty of people. My mother, after she ate a gravy, after you know, after you know, pasta gravy, the salad would go on her dish, and she'd mix it with the tomato sauce. You know, it's okay. yeah. And myself. I like to have the salad after because I want to eat all what I call the good stuff first. 
Well, you know, that's how they do it in Italy. Yep. You sit down, you have your pasta first. Yep. And then you have your salad and your meat. Yep. And then your dessert. That's, yeah, I love it that way. And that's how I still do it today. Even, you know, going to something simple as a, uh, not so much a restaurant, but with, with the restaurant, they bring out your salad first. Yeah, I'll pick out it. Yeah, we do it then, different here. Then right. I put it as yeah. Then I'll put that aside until my main course comes, and then after that, I'll decide whether I'm going back to the salad or not. Right, right. And you have to really be careful because you don't want to fill up. Right. Before the main course. No, that's kind of insulting to people. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. So here you have it. Red, white, and blue salad, patriotic pork, roasted patriotic potatoes, and independence ambrosia to top it off a lovely red wine. That looks outstanding. That yeah. looks outstanding. So again, a very quick dinner, right? Yeah, and, and even though I, I learned my lesson to eat before I watch the show, I'm actually starving right now. <laughs> I know, I know, this is good. I have to tell you, Wednesday nights, um, it's really nice. After the show, we sit down and we just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. So now, how does that stuff stay afterwards? Because I'm sure you're not going to eat all that tonight. No, definitely not. And it will stay perfect. All of it. All of it stays okay. perfect. Yep. And so pack up little lunches to go to work tomorrow. And yep. Yep. Excellent. Or even if you're doing the intermittent fasting, yep. dinner tomorrow night too. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And that ambrosia though, I can't see that lasting too long. <laughs> oh, I know. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh, that is just... God, I know. I tell you, I'm amazed at what some people put in theirs and they pull together and you're just out there dying in a hot backyard. And when that comes out of the fridge onto the thing, you, you just everyone just goes for it. And, and that's the beauty of it, right? Because yeah. you can make it with whatever. Every time. I Every can't, time. I don't think I've ever had the same one before. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> so anyway, I wanna toast H Cam. There's H Cam, we love you. Terry, we love you and want to wish everyone a very Happy and safe Fourth of July, uh, as, every, as everyone can do their best to celebrate their independence. And I uh, wish everyone well. And I can't wait to see you next week for that uh, mystery, maybe picnic. <laughs> <laughs> mystery dinner. That's right. Awesome. That's right. It should be a lot of fun. I and can't wait. Um, yeah, so enjoy the celebration with your family, friends, whatever you're doing. Staying home, venturing out, wherever you can. Uh, just remember, be safe, be responsible, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Great, great job, Terry. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a good one, guys.